tools you need to get through the day in classes, as well as any, so if somebody says I'm doing a salad, I'm doing some salsa, I'm doing food is a critical component that maybe we're having some protein that is there, tying it all up with a little bit of fat, making it complete, making it tasty, making it great. My name is Leslie Monsey. I am a sports dietitian and the director of sport nutrition at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. I also work with real people, but most of the time I spend my time working with athletes, which means the University of Pittsburgh Department of Athletics, Carnegie Mellon, Point Park, Duquesne, the Pittsburgh Steelers, Pittsburgh Penguins, Pittsburgh Pirates, Washington Nationals, and Toronto Blue Jays, as well as the ballet. California dried plums are such an easy, easy food to recommend. They're terrific on their own, or they're great when they're added to other types of things. And it isn't just that they have a wonderful taste and they're portable, but they also bring the health package as well. And that is certainly critically important for my athletes. Let's talk about the nutritional benefits of California dried plum. Number one, it's a carbohydrate. That's important for active individuals. Number two, there's some fiber in the dried plum. Number three, the benefits in terms of the vitamins and the minerals that are there. Vitamin K, also the minerals, magnesium, boron, copper, potassium, which may suggest a role in terms of promoting healthy bone. And so those benefits are there and very, very important for my athletes. In addition to this, the satiety aspect of it, there are some studies suggesting that eating California dried plums might help to regulate appetite. Well, that's a good thing because I do have athletes who consume far more than they should. And although most of my younger athletes are not really concerned about heart health, their coaches are. Their parents are, so it is something that even though it might not be an immediate concern, it's the gift that keeps on giving over the rest of their lives. California dried plums are the whole package. And what I mean by that is they may have a role to play in supporting good digestive health, heart health, bone health, as well as supporting a healthy immune system and healthy aging. What more could we ask for than that? Any study in the British Journal of Nutrition the study showed that dried plums may have a role to play in terms of keeping bone strong, supporting healthy bone mineral density, and perhaps helping to reverse bone loss. strategy in this game? Um, continue to cut prunes until there are no more prunes and get people what they need when they need it. We have onions, we have jalapeno, and pickled prunes, and Ooh, apple cider vinegar nice. right here. Then we're gonna throw on top of some greens with some, looks like herb toasted pita bread. And what do we have here? Um, we have toasted baguette, mm -hmm. um, olive oil, goat cheese, um, a plum puree, and walnuts. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> If you haven't eaten a prune, you need to, because it's nature's candy. They're a fantastic snack. Um, we like them. They, 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 uh, they're great travel food. They, they, once we get them dried and, and conditioned, they store well. I mean, you can always get a good prune any time of the year.
It adds juiciness. It accentuates flavors. And that's a really unique characteristic of prunes is it pulls a small amount will pull other flavors out. So you're, you're enhancing your recipe. I personally like to cook with prunes. That's my favorite use, and especially in meat dishes. Uh, Mediterranean style cooking with you know, lamb and beef and pork. There's countries that have a long uh, association um, with dried plums and a long history. You know, particularly Eastern Europe, Northern European countries. I mean, the old term uh, from the night before Christmas with the vision of sugar plums dancing in their heads, they're talking about dried plums. One of the great things about dried plums is that they are so incredibly versatile. For instance, we could add dried plums into an oatmeal. We could add dried plums into a quinoa. Dried plums are wonderful in a salad or even to provide that sweetness that's a nice contrast to the savory with various types of meats. So I'm telling you, this is a food that is so incredibly easy, you can't screw them up. This is a good thing. They really make everything that goes with them better. Well, would you like to try one now? Sure. All right. What do you think? That's good, sweet. I think my initial thing would be to eat it as a snack with like almonds. I think they're great. I grew up in the Central Valley of California, so my family actually picked up some plums, and um, so I grew up having them at home. I would just have them as a snack. My mom would always throw fruit in my backpack every time I was doing sports. Um, it was always, I didn't think much more about it, but I realized it's actually a very efficient part of my life. Well, Is then it, you have to taste one. All right, I can go over that. Do I go the whole thing? Pretty good. What do you like about it? You know, I'm a big fan of dried fruit. It's a little bit more wholesome than most of the dried fruit. Would you go out and buy dried plums? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Would you go out and buy prunes? Uh, that's got a negative connotation. I'm a little afraid of prunes, I think. You know what? It's actually, they're the same thing. I would love one. All right. All right. So I'm going to have more of these later. <laughs> they're actually really good. Awesome. I like, I like dried plums. <laughs> we love it. We love to hear that. They're pretty good. They uh, they don't have a sweetness to them that you actually kind of expect uh, when you're going for fruit. They're they're not bitter, but they, they it's more about texture and, and uh, as a kind of a unique flavor. My mom buys them. We eat them regularly in our house, kind of as dessert after dinner. Um, put them in smoothies. Love them. I would probably just have them on the go. I'm an athlete, so dried fruit whenever I have it, it's usually. To, on the way to practice, or I throw it in a Ziploc and I take it with me to class, or things like that. Oh, I had a big one. You had a big one. Awesome. Very good. Right. I need another one. 